what's up everyone sammy here today i'm going to do a fun video you guys have been quality with the interactions in the comments so i thought i'd jump on that and do a what happens next style video in a new balance to keller boots today also got the odd sock combo going again comment down below if you know how many times i've worn odd socks in our videos definitely not a superstition <laughs> a few practice rounds to get into it give you guys an idea as to where the knuckleball may move to that's 25 yards apparently The purpose of this video is for me to do knuckleball free kicks. I will then pause a still image of a free kick mid flight. It could go in the goal, it could hit the bar. I have no idea. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. We've done a lot of boot reviews and match ball experiment videos recently, so I thought we'd have some fun today. All warmed up now. Mine is my right calf feeling tight. <laughs> Got a power through though. We are now going to get into the what happens next part of the video. I have no idea how this is going to go. Honestly, guys, it's a bit of an experiment in itself, but I want to pull it off for you guys today. So now you guys can have the opportunity to guess where you think the knuckleball is going to end up. Remember how unpredictable knuckleballs can be. And despite seeing the ones you've just seen, there are going to be ones that not even I will be aware it's about to happen. So look out for those ones. Hopefully we get some good ones for you to enjoy this video. I'm gonna put a GoPro up here now again. guesses on that one very dead right in the upper 90 i didn't even think about this but i hope no one's skipping ahead and seeing the outcome <laughs> and then putting it in the comments what they think is going to happen <laughs> oh i mean fair play if you do i'm not gonna know charlie won't know <laughs> Where's the GoPro? <laughs> Ten seconds skip if you want to get back to the game. I'm going to make two points though. First point is that because of this type of video where I'm pausing the shot as a still image, it gives you a really clear indication as to what a clean knuckleball strike should look like. Look at both feet, the right foot and the left foot, how the contact on the ball is made, because 
In this video, I'm going to only show the best shots apart from the ones before. So what I'll do now is I'll show you a clip of a scuff knuckleball free kick and I'll pause that as a still image for you guys to compare the different types of technique in terms of which one is clean and which one is a bit rusty or not up to scratch. Have a look at that, you'll see that now where I've split the screen as to which one is the clean knuckleball and which one is the scuff. Hopefully that image gives you an idea as to what you're looking to do when you guys are out practicing your knuckleball free kicks. True fact is that I've set up the camera angle today exactly how I would for a free kick session. The view you're seeing on the 4K camera pictures the right angle side of the goal, the part of the goal I would generally aim for during my knuckleball free kick sessions. I haven't gone for a wide angle shot purely because I want the camera to pick up the movement best it can and I believe that the angle I have will pick up the movement. So question of the video actually. Are you guys conscious of setting up your camera angles when doing your knuckleball free kicks and perhaps getting in the way of the shot? Maybe not quite capturing a knuckleball as cleanly as you would like on the camera. I have actually done that recently. I hit a speed cell knuckleball in the best matchable video that you guys would have seen. Mate, my view of this goal, when I kicked it, it went out like that and came in. How does it not look like that on the camera? That is so dead. And my view of it was nuts. I went back, checked the view from the camera and it wasn't as good as I thought. Right, it's time for that cliche YouTube nonsense a lot of you probably don't like, including myself, I hate all this, but I'm going to do it because we haven't spoken about our membership plan that we have available to you guys. If you want to become a member, all the info is in the description and what we will do for you is upload exclusive videos more frequently as opposed to every two weeks. The normal videos will still continue on a Friday, but the membership offers you guys previews to upcoming videos, outtakes, behind the scenes, and lots more. Keep supporting with the likes and comments down below as you are in this video. No way. Right, so considering the fact it's just hit the bar there, how on earth has it ended up up there? Thanks to you guys that commented down below on our knuckleball experiment video about behind the scenes because this is pure behind the scenes now. We have got it down. Last time we got a ball stuck in one of these trees here was the Umbro Pulsar ball. And I want to say that was in the best cheap footballs for knuckleball free kicks a video. Rip to that ball though. It sadly passed away. <laughs> had a puncture. I had to throw it. I was so reluctant to throw it away, but I did. Not a match ball, so not worth keeping. Unfortunately, that's it for the GoPro claw today. Imagine getting that goal and the view being as it is in the thumbnail where it's like the widescreen shot. It just wouldn't look as good. I haven't watched it back on the main camera yet, but I'm confident it will look good for you guys. Oh. 
it's pinged off the bar and got stuck again. <laughs> you, you can't make this up. Oh, <laughs> what is going on? And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know down below how you got on. Let me know as well if you'd like to see this type of video again, or is it just a one-off? Completely different video. I can't say I've seen that before. The members would have seen a sneak peek as to where I got the idea from. That's why I filmed this video today. Thank you for watching guys, and we'll see you again very soon.